Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Robert from Prestige Collectibles Japanese Cards. And today I'd like to show you a variety of American and other what we call gaijin players who played in Japan during mostly the 50s and the 60s. I have them in alphabetical order. And the first player here is Francis Aguili. He was born in Hawaii. And he played for the Tio Wales, the Lions, and the Braves. This card features him on the Wales. The next player is Roberto Chico Barbon. He was born in Cuba and he started playing in Japan in 1955 and he never left. He uh, played for the Hankyu Braves and the King Tetsu Buffaloes. This is a card of him from 1959. And this card here is a 4 in 1 featuring Barbon, also Sarahara O. And this card is a little uh, interesting, as it says Barbone on Hankyu, but the picture is actually Larry Raines, who was born in uh, West Virginia. He played for the Cleveland Indians in 1957 and 58, and the Hankyu Braves from 53 to 54, and again in 62. So that's the uh, Barbone Larry Raines card. The next one I have here is Jack Bloomfield. He is a uh, player who was born in Texas. He had no major league experience, but about five years in the minors. He was with the uh, Buffaloes and the Hawks. And then later in the 70s, he was a coach for the San Diego Padres and the Chicago Cubs. He's also a Jewish player. I know many people collect uh, Jewish player cards. So this is one of Jack Bloomfield. Next one I have here is another player who happens to be Jewish. And this is Mark Brownstein, who was born in California. And he played just one year with the Hanshin Tigers. This is uh, 1962. His name is just listed as Brown on the front of the card. Okay, the next card I have, I have a couple of. This is uh, Dick Dessa. He was born in Hawaii, actually December 3rd, 1941. So only four days before the uh, bombing of uh, Pearl Harbor. He has no major league experience and he played for the Orions and the Buffaloes. This is him for the Orions, as well as this card. These are the backs. And that was Dick Dessa. Next one I have here is Kent Hadley. He was born in Idaho, and he played for the Kansas City Athletics in 1958 and 59, and the New York Yankees in 1960. Then he was with the Hawks from 1962 to 1967. It's the back of this card, featuring him on the Hawks, as well as this one. The next player I have is Stanley Hashimoto. He was from Hawaii. This is a, a Jintan gum card. This card was packaged in uh, inside of packages of uh, Jintan gum. And he played for the Flyers and the Tio Wales. Next player I have here is Jun Hirota. He was from Hawaii. Here's a few of his cards. This is uh, this one here is a you can see Kobai Seika card. He was a uh, catcher here for the uh, Yomiuri Giants. These are a couple of bromides, and here's another card of him. Nice, colorful card of June Hirota. There's a, a sumo wrestler on the back of this one. The next player I have is Jack Ladra. He was born in Hawaii and he played for the 
Toei Flyers. There's a couple of his cards. And that's some back damage. Also, he did go to Fresno State University. The next player I have is Charlie Luis. He was actually uh, born in Hawaii, and he's a Portuguese-American. He played for the Mainichi Orions in 1954 and 55. You can see he was a catcher. Luis, and I have one other card that's uh, much larger. Quite a big size of him in his catching position. This is a blank back. Again, that's Charlie Luis. Next player I have is Jim Marshall. Jim Marshall played for quite a few teams in the major leagues, including the Orioles, the Cubs, the Giants, the Mets, the Pirates. And then he was with the Dragons from 1963 to 1965. And here's Jim Marshall's card. Next one is Jim McManus. I have a couple of his. Now, he was born in Brookline, Massachusetts. And he was with the A's. They called them up in September 1960. Fortunately, he was hitless in his first two at-bats as a pinch hitter. And then he started at first base for the Athletics in their final three games of the 60 season. He ended up uh, hitting a home run and batted 308, going four for 13 and two runs batted in. He uh, played later for the Tile Wales in 1962 and 63. And here are a couple of his cards. The next player I have here is Andy Toshio Miyamoto, who was born in Hawaii. He played for the Yomiuri Giants from 55 to 62, and the Swallows in 63 and 64. This is a black and white card of his with the Giants. There's another one. Scoreboard back. And one more color Menko card of Andy Miyamoto. He went to Baldwin High School in Hawaii. The next player is also from Hawaii. It's Bill Nishita. He played for the Yomiuri Giants, the Flyers, the Orions, and the Swallows. Next player, I have here a few cards of, this is John, John Sardina. He was also from Hawaii, and he played for the Nankai Hawks in 1959 and 1960. The front and back of that card. This one has no information on the back, but his name is on the front. And here's another one, John Sardina, John Sardina, playing for the Nankai Hawks. Next one is Mike Salamko. He actually joined the Pittsburgh Pirates organization in 1954, but he only made it to Class A ball in 1957. He played for the Hanshin Tigers and the Orions from 1960 through 1965. This card he's featured on the Tigers. And this is Mike Salamko. Next one I have here is Daryl Spencer. He was born in Wichita, Kansas, and he played for quite a few teams in the major leagues, and I know he has some tops cards. He's with the uh, Giants, the Cardinals, the Dodgers, the Reds, and then with the Honky Braves from 64 through 68, and I think again in the early 70s. So this is Daryl Spencer. The next player I have here is Joe Stanka. He was born in Hammond, Oklahoma, 
and I believe he pitched a couple of games for the White Sox in 1959 and then became quite a star pitcher in Japan, pitching for the Nankai Hawks and the Taiyo Whales. Card has some paper attached to the back. This is him with the Nankai Hawks. Let's see, the next player I have here is Eddie Take from Hawaii. There's not that much about him, although he did play for the Toei Flyers in 1960 and 1961. And this is the back of his card. And this is Eddie Take. The next card I have is Yoshio Kaiser Tanaka. He was born in 1909. He actually played for the Osaka Tigers from 1937 to 1944, and then managed for the Tigers and the Orions in the early 50s and 60s. This is him as the manager for the Tigers. The next card I have is Nick Testa, who was born in New York, I believe in New York City. He had one of the briefest Major League careers ever. He played just one inning of one game for the San Francisco Giants in 1958, never coming to bat. And his one chance on defense, he committed an error. He only ended up playing 57 games in 1962 for the Daimai Orions. And this is his card from 1962. Next player... Probably one of the most popular. This one and the next one. This is Tadashi Wakabayashi. And his nickname was Bozo, actually. He was born in Hawaii in 1908. He was a player for the Tigers and the Orions, and then later also managed for them. Here's a couple of his cards. He was 42 years old. When this card came out, there's a nice bromide of him. And here's a round Menko. And he was inducted into the Japanese Baseball Hall of Fame in 1964, a year before he died in 1965. And the final player I have is, I'm sure many of you know, uh, know of him. Uh, Rob Fitz wrote a book about Wale Yonamine. His name was uh, Kaname Yonamine. And he was actually a uh, running back for the San Francisco 49ers during their second season in 1947. Then he played in Japan for the Yomiuri Giants in 1951. It was his rookie season. This is his, uh, one of his rookie card from the Osato Gangu set. Here's a couple of other cards. This is uh, later in his career with the Giants. And this one is when he was with the Dragons. And he was with them in 61 and 62. The back of this card, which has some writing on the back. And he was inducted into the Japanese Hall of Fame in 1994, the same year as Sadaharu O. Oh. So this is a nice collection of different uh, players who played in Japan. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I hope you click like and subscribe, and I'll be making some new videos soon, so I hope you enjoy them. Thanks, and have a great day.